And that's it, now you have a coffee made with mocha that looks like an espresso. Hi everyone, Matteo here. In this video, I want to show you how to make this coffee made with mocha pot look like an espresso. And this is possible by making a mix between coffee and sugar that I like to call cremina. This method was very traditional in my family and we used to do it every day when I was a kid and I used to love it when I started to drink coffee at home. What do you need to make this coffee is a mocha pot, sugar, a little espresso cup plus the ones to serve coffee and a teaspoon. The principle of this cremina is basically the same as the most recent and famous Dalgona coffee. Or I should probably say that Dalgona follows the principle of cremina. It's also the same as Cuban coffee, but with a slight difference that you will see later. Now, the coffee I will make in this video is for two or three people, and I use a three cups mocha pot. But of course, you can use a bigger mocha or a smaller one. I'm not going to explain how to make mocha pot in this video because I already made several videos about that. I link one of them here below in the description box. Then for the others, you can go to my channel and discover them. And while you're there, of course, you can click on that subscribe button so you won't miss the future ones. Now, let's make some coffee. When you want to make cremina with your mocha, I suggest you to updose a bit the coffee in the basket and also grind slightly finer, because we want to achieve a thick, high concentrated coffee. While we wait for the coffee to come out, I explain you the principle behind the cremina. To make a good one, we need the first thick part of the coffee that comes out from the chimney. If the coffee is too watery, it will be very difficult to make, basically impossible to achieve a good result. When we put this little amount of coffee with the sugar and with a teaspoon we start whipping, we incorporate air inside the mixture. The sugar in contact with coffee starts to melt and together with air creates the cream. In a few seconds, I will show you. Now, let's get ready for the action. I put two teaspoons of sugar in the espresso cup. Two spoons are enough for two people. If you want to make more, you can do three teaspoons. It, if you want more sugar, it's up to your taste, but I usually do two. Now, you need to be very careful. Stay in front of the mocha and get ready for the coffee to come out. As soon as it comes out, Remember that we need only the first part of the coffee, enough to create the cremina. If you wait for too long, then the coffee becomes more watery and then it will be impossible to make it work. It just needs a few drops, but if you put too much coffee, you can quickly add a bit more sugar. You will make it more, but at least you will make it right. Okay, the coffee is coming out. I put just a few drops and then I place the mocha back on the stove and I start to whip the mix with a teaspoon. While we make the cremina, the coffee will continue to come out. Whip until uh, you get a, um, a light brown color and it should be uniform and thick. Continue to whip. You see, as I whip, the color starts to change from a dark brown to a light brown. Continue to whip. And that's it. The cremina now is ready. Now also the coffee is ready and always stir the coffee before pouring into the cups. Here is the difference between this method and the Cuban coffee. With the Cuban coffee we pour all the coffee from the mocha inside the creamy mix, then we stir and we serve it. But with this method we put the cremina after we pour the coffee into the cups. This allows you to decide how much sweet you want your coffee. The less cremina you put, the less your coffee is gonna be sweet. And the more cremina you put, the more your coffee is gonna be sweet. Now split the coffee in two cups and put 
the Keremina in the coffee. The weight of Keremina is lighter, so it will float on the surface of the coffee. Now give it a stir. And that's it, now you have a coffee made with mocha that looks like an espresso. And of course the coffee is gonna taste sweet because there is sugar. If you drink your coffee without sugar, this video is basically useless for you. Or maybe not, because if you have some guests coming over and they drink their coffee with sugar, you can impress them with this trick. You will definitely make their day and also raise the bar of your hospitality level. Now, if you have some leftover of Cremina, you can cover it with cling film and store it in the fridge. It should be fine for the day after. Now, I'm going to enjoy my coffee. Babe, coffee's ready. Coffee. Bye. <laughs> As for you. No, you move the camera. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's Then tell me what you think. You like it? Pretty good. Good. Wonderful. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you have any comments, just drop them in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you didn't yet. I wish you a wonderful day and delicious coffee. Ciao.